Welcome back to the Game Code. PAX East is known for some of its amazing cosplay, so let's check some of it out. So uh, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name's Sheena Duquette. I hail from Vancouver in Canada, but I've actually recently moved to Austin, Texas. Awesome. We're from Halifax. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Is this your first PAX? Uh, this is my first PAX East. I attended PAX Prime last year as well. Awesome. What brought you back? It's just a great environment. I love the staff. I love the people. Just tons of game demos and cool. game cosplay. And can you tell me a little bit about your cosplay today? Uh, this is uh, one of the DLC costumes for Lightning from Lightning Returns, the newest in the Final Fantasy XIII saga. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a giant sword, I wanted to make it. Cool. And what was the most difficult part of the whole process? Uh, none of it was really difficult. Mm -hmm. The most lengthy was probably uh, casting all the bolts here and on my shoulder piece. Awesome. But other than that, I mean, the sword was just cut blue and paint, so. Well, you look great. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, what's your name and where are you from? My name is Emily. I am from Western Massachusetts. Awesome. Is this your first PAX? Nope. First was last year. Nice. And what brought you back? Um, the video games. The first year was my first one last year, and we got here really late, so I didn't get to see much. So right. we came back. Did you cosplay before? Or is this your first time you're nope. cosplaying? No, uh, I've cosplayed many cons before this. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about the cosplay you've got today? Um, the one I'm wearing is her name is Margaret Moonlight. She's from No More Heroes 2. Um, she's an assassin. Um, what else would you like? Uh, I don't know. What was the most What was the most difficult part of uh, the whole process? Um, probably drafting all the patterns. All of it is my own handwork. All the lace and ruffles are handmade. Um, the cage skirt actually probably took less time than the actual dress. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it looks fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so uh, what's your name and where are you from? Well, I'm a Pac-Man. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And what about yourself? My name is Andrew. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Awesome. And is this your guys' first PAX? Uh, Ever. <laughs> nope. Uh, fifth PAX in total. This is my sixth. Nice. What brings you guys back to PAX? Uh, the success of previous PAXs. This is home. This is family. Yeah. Do you guys always cosplay? Uh, I have been for a couple of years. Yeah, this is my second. Nice. So um, what, um, what do you guys cosplay about? Tell us a little about the characters that you've, uh, you've brought to uh, PAX today. Well, I'm dressed as Isaac Clark from Dead Space 3, um, and this is before the disaster. <laughs> and I'm cosplaying as Master Chief from Halo. Nice. So uh, in terms of your costumes, what do you guys find the most difficult here on the floor with like such, such bulk? What's that? What are you guys are finding trying? Staying hydrated. <laughs> Not passing out from heat stroke. I, yeah, I could definitely imagine. They're really detailed. Um, how long did it take you guys to put your costumes together? Mine was commissioned from Propped Up Creations, but I made the plasma cutter. Nice. And mine was uh, commissioned from Armory Props, and I did all the painting myself. Great. Well, you guys look awesome. I feel very protected right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, so uh, what's your name and where are you from? My name's Alendra Harris, and I'm from Auburn, Maine. Awesome. And uh, is this one of your first uh, your first packs? Um, actually, it's my second packs. Um, I was here last year. This is my second. Well, what brings you back to PAX? Um, well, I love video games. I always have, and um, the crowd is really great. It's a wonderful activity, and it's kind of the one place, or like conventions like this, are the one place where so many people with a common ground come together. So you can really get along with almost anyone here. Awesome. It's awesome. Cool. And your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Denise, and I'm from Metroid, Massachusetts. Awesome. Um, and so this this is also my second PAX. Mm -hmm. um, I find that it's like. Like compared to a lot of conventions I've gone to, the community here is just so amazing. There's so many wonderful people that I've met, and this is where I met this wonderful Ooh. person. Oh, sh <laughs> and um, <laughs> I've just made really great connections ever since I've come here, and I feel like the cosplay <laughs> community here is a lot 
I don't know, a lot more positive than a lot of conventions have gone to, and it's just such a great place, and I love video games too, I've been a big gamer for all my life, so, <laughs> right. um, yeah. <laughs> cool, sorry. So, uh, speaking of cosplay, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you've got going on today? Well, um, I'm just Link <laughs> from The Legend of Zelda, not Zelda, by the way. <laughs> I've gotten that a couple times today. And um, I made it a while ago. I made the shield. I didn't make the sword, unfortunately. I mm -hmm. wish I could boast about that. I didn't. But I made everything else. So yes. I'm proud about that. And it's one of the biggest franchises in the video gaming world is Legend of Zelda. So, right. And I've always loved the character. He's a great character, even though he doesn't speak. He's <laughs> what, uh, in terms of your costume, what took the most work? Oh, God. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Maybe the shield? The sheath took me about four hours, um, but uh, probably either the shield or my wig, actually. My wig took a lot of styling because it was like down to my butt. Wow. And then I had to sew in wefts and stuff, so probably that, yeah. actually. Everything else was pretty simple to make. Right. Well, yeah. it, looks, it looks amazing, oh, for sure. It's very you. authentic. I appreciate an authentic oh, cosplay. Gosh, <laughs> and what about yourself? Tell us a little bit about who you are. Um, so the character is Midna. It's also a, a Legend of Zelda character from Twilight Princess. Um, one of the more recent games, so I was afraid it wouldn't it wouldn't be as popular, but it, it really has been. Um, Twilight Princess was definitely one of my favorite games since Ocarina of Time, mm -hmm. um, and I, I feel kind of bad admitting it, but this costume only took me three days to make. Even that hat, Even the, the helmet? helmet. Wow. The, the helmet was literally made from uh, an exercise mat I bought at TJ Maxx, and the, um, all the foam on top of it is actually just layers of foam that. I like carved shapes into and then glued them together. So there was no like carving and it, it's really light mm -hmm. and really, really like sturdy. <laughs> That's incredibly impressive. Thank you. Do you guys <laughs> cosplay often or is this sort of like yeah, your first um, forays? Every, pretty much every time we can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Multiple times a year. Multiple yeah. times a year. Not to conventions, to conventions, you know. It's Just kind hanging of out with each other. <laughs> awesome. Do you guys usually do video games or do you do other genres of nerd like oh, cosplay as well? Mostly anime and our friends are being jerks in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Good um, mostly anime, but sometimes we do video games. Just, yeah. It depends on what we like want to do. This Great. is my second <laughs> video game cosplay. Awesome. <laughs> well, you guys look absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank, you very much. thank you so much for talking with us. Well, thank you. Okay. It was a pleasure. <laughs> I know. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Tessa Barabee and I'm from Concord, New Hampshire. I mean, sorry, Concord, Massachusetts. I just moved. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, is this your first PAX? Uh, no, this is actually, I think, my third. Yes, my okay. third. So what brings you back? Um, I, honestly, the show floor. It's just so amazing every year and I love like, all the demos and just seeing like all the new games that are coming out and I just fangirl really hard when I see new stuff out. <laughs> Awesome. And yourself, your name and where are you from? Um, I'm Lynette. I'm from Lewiston, Maine. And is this your first PAX? It is, actually. Oh, exciting. So what made you decide to come this year? Um, mostly the opportunity that I got a ticket. Uh, <laughs> PAX sells out really fast, and I had the opportunity, and I'm a huge gamer. Um, so I'm unbelievably excited to be here. Awesome. So you guys are obviously both uh, doing some cosplay today. You want to tell me a little bit about uh, your costume and who you are? Sure. I'm dressed as Ada Wong from Resident Evil 6. Um, I actually had a huge crossbow too, but I left it in the hotel room. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I made this actually for Last Facts and I just, it's so like comfortable and I just get a lot of compliments on it so I decided to wear it again. Great. So uh, how much time did it take you to do this, uh, do this one together? <laughs> Surprisingly a lot. Yeah. Um, I actually had to hand dye a lot of the fabric that I used and I used like red dye and actually tea bags to dye oh, wow. it the right color. And um, the boots were like thigh high gray boots that I dyed and like cut up and made little like accessories for. And everything, like the belt is handmade out of like pleather and just accessories. Amazing. And, uh, my little cube phone is plexiglass and um, corn syrup. Oh, wow. Yeah. Impressive. Very detailed. Yes. Cool. <laughs> and what about you? Um, I am cosplaying Kenny McCormick. Uh, from South Park or South Park Stick of Truth, your preference. Um, it's actually a boy dressed up as a princess. They're pretty much playing Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings. Um, like fourth grader. <laughs> yeah. So. What made you choose uh, Princess Kenny? Um, I really loved Stick of Truth. It was really freaking funny. It was, 
I love South Park. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to get a costume done in about two weeks, and I barely managed it. <laughs> yeah. So what was the most challenging part of your costume this year? Um, probably the gloves. I'm still actually a little bit of a novice. Um, and these are... Stretching material is not easy to work right. with. Um, and a lot of new patterns. I've never made a skirt before. I, I had to edit a pattern to make a shirt. Um, I had to fabricate stuff. It was just a lot of big steps for me as a fairly new cosplayer. Right. Well, you say you're a novice, but you look amazing. Thank you, Thank you so much for uh, talking with us, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. We've still got lots more, so we'll be right back. Bye.